Hi, my name is Ryan. I am a developer here at Unstoppable Domains. I am part of the developer tools team. Uh, I write documentation and libraries and tools so that wallets and applications can better integrate blockchain domains. I've been at the company for three years now. So just a few weeks after the company got funding and incorporated, they brought me on as a developer because I was doing contracting work for the founders before and they knew they wanted to bring me on full time as a developer. That's sort of how I got my first start into crypto was because Matt, the founder and CEO was telling me that blockchain was going to be the next big thing and that I should learn how to develop on it because it's like knowing how to program HTML and JavaScript at the beginning of the internet. And he had me sold on that. So I gave it a shot and I really enjoyed developing on Ethereum and writing smart contracts. I thought it was really cool. I remember one of the first smart contracts I deployed was a token contract. It was an ERC20 token contract. And it was during all this hype about tokens, everyone had their own tokens that they were selling, similar to NFTs today. Instead of non-fungible tokens, they were fungible tokens. So everyone had their own token that did their own special thing. And they did this, did that, or solved world hunger. And they had fancy, silly names. And <laughs> until the government stepped in and was like, no, 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 we're not having any of that. Um, but it was, yeah, I, I created it because it was like a learning experience and for fun. It was called Holy Coin or Indulgence Token. And how it worked was you would buy these tokens and then you would send them somewhere and then you would be paying for your sins. You would be paying your way to heaven, uh, getting past purgatory and whatnot. I like to use Reddit. So the two subreddits that I follow are Ethereum and ETHDEV. Uh, and anytime I'm stuck on something, if I can't Google search it, I'll make a post on there. And the people are helpful and knowledgeable. So they'll, they'll answer my questions in the comments. As for when I'm like doing walks or just not at the computer. I like to plug into podcasts. So I'll listen to the Unstoppable podcast, for example. Matt and Diana do a great job of hosting and the guests that come on are really knowledgeable. So I like to tune into that for like a broad range of topics that they cover. So what are my favorite use cases and or products of blockchain? So this has to be NFTs. You're kind of going through their moment right now with everybody talking about it. Uh, but I think it's great. It's great for creators. Uh, collectors and for those who are a fan of just owning your own digital asset uh, a good example of this uh, are blockchain domains dot crypto domains are nfts and you actually own it unlike traditional domains where if you buy a dot com domain you're basically renting it right because you have to pay renewal fees you have to pay your rent every year and if you don't they could take it away from you and sell it to somebody else and I, I had this happen to me. I owned a .com domain called dubstreams.com and I couldn't afford the renewal fee. Uh, so they took away the domain. My website went down and sold it to some scalper because they saw that I owned the domain previously and I want it. So they threw up this, this page saying you can buy this, your domain back for like this markup price, which is ridiculous. So the great thing about these crypto domains is that I actually own it. I own it for life. If I actually choose to sell it, I can, right? And transfer it to somebody else and sell it um, through OpenSea or some marketplace for NFTs. If you are new to this space, I recommend you just watch YouTube videos, start on very broad topics and then narrow down on what you want to learn uh, more specifically, like search what is a blockchain and then if you have interests in specific blockchains and you can do your research on those. If you're a developer, I recommend going through the Crypto Zombies course. That was like super helpful for me starting off. You don't have to be an expert programmer or developer. Uh, it starts you off at very basic concepts and then works your way up to deploying your own smart contracts. So go check that out.